compassion, integrity, dedication. Bill Dunn Jr. has been one of the most passionate and loyal employees J.E. Dunn Construction has ever seen. Over the past 39 years, he's worked tirelessly to build the company in a manner that is consistent with the corporate values. He recognized a need and subsequently helped develop J.E. Dunn Purchasing and Logistics, which has become a key component of our business. In more recent times, he helped build the J.E. Dunn brand and increase sales as part of the business development team. In addition to his contributions to the company, Bill Dunn Jr. still finds time to be involved in the community through organizations such as High Aspirations, Mid-America Minority Business Development Council, Don Bosco Charities, Metropolitan Community College, the Hawthorne Foundation, and YMCA of Greater Kansas City, just to name a few. Thank you to Bill Dunn Jr. for your hard work, dedication, and passion over the last four decades at J.E. Dunn Construction and in the Kansas City community. Well, when I became president, Ernie came in and said, Carl, I gotta leave, I'm sorry, but I have, I have to resign from the board. So I called Bill Dunn and I said, Bill, this is Carl, yeah, Carl. I said, uh, your brother Ernie just resigned from the board. There's always been a, a, a Dunn on our board. 15 minutes later, he called me and he said, Bill Dunn Jr. will be on your board. After that, everything at Don Bosco touched, it was great for the city and great for the people and great for the kids. If you want something done in Kansas City, you go to Bill Dunn Jr. and it's done. So that's why I'm saying he's been my dear friend for all these years, all these years. Have a great year and God bless you, Bill Dunn Jr. Bill Dunn is like that guy that calls me, he coaches me along, he pushes me to continue to do better, and he always tells me to put God first, and, and that's something that we share in common. Bill Dunn got involved with High Aspirations a couple of years back, and um, he didn't just get involved in one kind of way, he really, really got involved, rolled up his sleeves. He even um, went to the Chiefs game with us, and, uh, walked over to the game and got involved with the young man. I really appreciate that about him, his unselfishness, his will to always want to continue to help and not only just give in one way, but give in many ways. Well, I, I just think that you're a wonderful guy and I just pray that God uh, continue to be with you and that you'll be able to enjoy your grandchildren and your, and your wife and, and your family and your number one passion. 75 on St. Patrick's Day, March 17th, Steve Dunn and I both came to work for the company. I've been involved with a lot of nonprofits for, since the time I went to work for J.E. Dunn back in 1975. So I guess the thing I like best is, uh, is mentoring and growing organizations to where they should be. I got involved with warehouse operations after I received a master's degree in 81 and the reason I've got that master's degree because I wanted to be more effective in logistics and actually my uh, thesis was a, a decision support system for equipment acquisition in the construction industry and I, we've used that model ever since to justify either just renting or owning equipment. I thought it was a good idea to move to marketing because we had lost about $800 million in revenue in three months during the recession of 2008. Next month, kind of an interesting day in my life. Uh, on December 31st, I retire from J.E. Dunn, but that doesn't mean I'm retiring from the community that, that I really love. This company grew by, by people caring about each other and about caring about the company more than themselves. One thing I really hope is some of the uh, older uh, officers in the company, as they get closer to retirement age, think about mentoring the young people and, and not, as they say, riding the hump. Because really the best thing you can do in the later years of your career is to leave a legacy and, to, and improve the culture of the company you came from.